at the moment just making some food. I'm so down low because yeah, the camera's on this angle and I wanted you guys to see everything going on in the kitchen, but at the moment making paleo butter chicken, one pot with veggies sort of thing, but rather than the chicken, I'm substituting minced turkey, which I got at Metro. Uh, I just cut about a quarter of this minced turkey. The nutrition facts, so about a quarter of that, which would be equivalent to the half a cup that it suggests, which equates to about 20 grams of protein, seven grams of fat, and 140 calories. Minced turkey on low heat in the pot, low, almost medium heat in the pot, just cooking up a little bit from semi-defrosted. I'm going to let that just cook up a little bit in the pot. And that's cooking up really fast, but I cut about a quarter of that and then put that in the pot for cooking up while I cut up my veggies. So for the veggies, I'm just cutting up some onion now to throw in the pot with the turkey already cooking. Just cutting some of this up. Keeping away from my eyes because I don't wanna cry tonight. But onion first because it's one of those things that needs to like soften up first. So just cutting that up pretty small, pretty roughly but small enough to cook. I might even before throwing this into the pan also just microwave it for a little bit um, just to soften it up too because my turkey's already going. So yeah, cut that up all nice and small. I think I actually will just throw it into the pot with the turkey, so. Putting that onion in there. I want to let that onion cook to mix with the turkey a little bit for more flavor. Onion first so that it gets a chance to cook up first. Mixing that all around just to get an even, even cooking. Things are sizzling up pretty quick and we're on two. So pretty low heat and everything's cooking up pretty, pretty nicely. But you know, minced anything, turkey, minced ground beef, things like that, it, it all cooks up relatively quickly too. Anyway, but the next thing I'm gonna do is just cut up a red bell pepper. This one is a little softer, so I figured I'd use it. And you know, you won't, when everything's cooked together, you won't, you won't know it being so soft. You're less likely to eat a softer red pepper raw, you know, in a salad, in a fresh salad or something like that, or I am. Cause you know, you want the crispiness of a red pepper in a salad, but when it's cooking, it doesn't really matter. And you're cooking it up anyway, it doesn't really matter, is what I meant to say. So we're just cutting that up for extra flavor too. I think this will go really well with everything. It needs like a sweet element. Even though this butter chicken sauce does have sweetness to it anyway, as you know, it has tomato paste in it and lime juice, date paste, you know, it has the sweetness, but I think this will just be that little, extra and another veggie to add to it too because I have what I'm thinking for the other veggies will probably just be some broccoli here that my mom some broccoli here that my mom pre-cooked for me and some baby spinach that I'll probably throw in and let cook with the rest Baby spinach too cooks up super quick because of the moisture and water content in that. So just tossing out those little, any of those little seeds, but you know, they won't kill you, but I'm 
making sure for myself because I don't want to risk it. Just tossing the rest of these red peppers into the pot with the rice. Onions are already cooking up. Now I'm going to just cut maybe this much broccoli. You know, a good a portion of broccoli. I love broccoli and you need some greens. It needs some greens. So I you know what? I might not even I might just like roughly cut this up. Whoopsies. Just like roughly cut it up and then toss it in because it'll all break apart in the pan anyway. Of course, making sure not to toss your lid in the middle. Smelling so good already. Oh, and it's so vibrant with the colors too. Again, I live beside a train, so that's the sound you're hearing. Super, super quick and easy, this recipe. I, I'm trying this one for the first time. I just kind of made this one up, but you can basically, you know, as long as you have a protein and a few vegetables, you really can just make anything. You know, you wanna, you wanna always consider um, a protein, a carb, and then a source of fat in there. So, I mean, for a source of fat, there is some hemp oil and things like that, and hemp seeds in that um, butter chicken sauce that I showed you guys. But other than that, this, the fat would just come from the turkey. But I, I'll probably, I usually like something sweet after I finish my food too, or my dinner. My savory meal, I like something sweet. So I'll usually have something with like almond butter or um, some dark chocolate in it or something like that. So I'll get my fat source of fat there and I can compensate for it there. This is looking super good. I'll throw my spinach in last. Probably just a handful of that. Something like that, maybe a little bit more. Something like that. Throw that in. And as you mix it in, it'll just all soften up. But I mean, guys, I call myself salad gold and I make Quick, I make up quick, pretty quick things for myself. Like, it doesn't have to be complicated in the kitchen. It really doesn't. And I mean, especially when you have dietary restrictions and stuff, you learn to keep things simple. So that's what I do. I really just, you know, it's as simple as a protein, a carb source, and a fat, you know? So if you're just considering those things and you're really always thinking about what you genuinely feel like and what will satisfy those cravings that you're feeling because as a lot of you know you can decide to eat the healthy thing or make the healthy choice as opposed to an unhealthy choice but in the end you might still want that unhealthy choice after you've made the healthy one so always you know think I, I still to this day really take time or take whatever it is, a few minutes, five, 10 minutes to think about what my body is really feeling and craving for. And I will make my cooking or food decision based on that. So yeah, everything's looking good here. It's looking pretty cooked up. And the last step would be just to toss in our sauce, which is the good food for good butter chicken sauce. I love all of these good food for good products. They also make a ketchup, a barbecue sauce, a spicy ketchup. I love them all, but today in this recipe, I'll just be using this butter chicken. The ingredients are super, super clean. It's paleo, of course dairy-free, soy, corn, wheat, and grain-free. Contains all organic ingredients. This one, I love it. It's not very much so butter chicken tasting, but it's just yummy. Like, 
my mom sang from the other room. <laughs> it's super, super good. It does have a little bit of a butter chicken-esque flavor, but yeah, so I'll just toss in a decent amount of that, maybe like a couple tablespoons, maybe three tablespoons of that between three and two and between two and four tablespoons of the sauce and i just finished that we're on empty so i'll probably go and pick up some of that tomorrow because i've really been liking this sauce and it goes good with turkey chicken the flavor goes well with a lot of other flavors so it's one of those essential things for me and you know when you're on a paleo diet and you do have food restrictions, it is all about those sauces and spices and those things that you can add in to make the food really taste its best and taste really good because the flavor has got to be there for sure. And a misconception is that people on a paleo diet or people that eat really healthy are just eating vegetables when that's really not true. I mean, like you can really make things interesting with spices and sauces, which I do. So let me know guys in the comments below if you would like me to go through, as I was already planning, going through some of those paleo essentials or, you know, those sauces and spices that I like to keep on hand for myself or stocked in my own fridge just to toss in or sauce up those basic foods, you know, like a basic recipe. I'd definitely be happy to share. I plan on sharing my tips and paleo tips and tricks and hacks and things like that. So let me know if you guys have any specific questions, but this is looking super super good so far it's softening up all the way i'll probably just add in that last little bit of sauce because i using this sauce the last couple times i have i've been liking things a little saucier so i'm adding just an extra little bit and to finish off that bottle and then that should be it on the bottle it says to you know pour in your sauce and then let things steam together but it's been cooking for a while i might just eat it eat it <laughs> but i might just leave it and it's all looking it. like it mixed together pretty well all is smelling good i can show you guys a little zoom in hey, turkey minced turkey with spinach red peppers cooked onion that i just made up on the fly Looking super, super good. Broccoli, spinach in there too. All of the essentials. And I am about to just eat this straight out of the pot. So I will see you guys in a little bit. And I hope you liked this recipe. So now for plating or bowling. We're just bowling. <laughs> I just made up a new weird food term. I love that. I love that for me. So I'm gonna grab just one of these bowls that I use and I think I actually got these bowls at Dollarama. <laughs> I love when Dollarama has just those random, random finds. So I'm just gonna pour in that mix that I made. It's smelling super, super good guys. And like, like I said, like food, you, <laughs> Healthy eating, you got to make simple. You know, you can overcomplicate healthy eating just like anything else, and it really does not have to be complicated. Think of food as, food is fuel, right? You need very basic things to fuel the body. And you know, healthy food has all those nutrients in it. So why not? <laughs> why not indulge in all the healthy stuff? Whether it is a one pan meal or a one pot meal, I love those super quick and easy, just, mm, just did a taste test. So good guys, so, so good. Uh, I am so notorious for just like making up random recipes on the fly. I love it, I love it. This is so good guys. Turkey mints instead of chicken, broccoli, onions, spinach, red pepper, all the spices already came in that butter chicken mixed sauce, spinach, you know, all the basics, lots of protein, straight protein, 
fuel. 10 out of 10 would make this again. 12 out of 10 would make this again. Let me know if you guys want the full recipe in more detail. I just wanted to show you guys a first, you know, little preview of me in the kitchen because I'm definitely wanting to shoot more videos like this in future. And like I said, this butter chicken sauce would definitely be one of my essentials along with, along with things like their barbecue sauce that they also make. Love that for chicken, things like that. Chicken recipes, the spicy ketchup. Love this. They also just do make a regular ketchup, but I just picked this one up to try it. And the great thing about these products is that they contain like they're sweetened naturally so they're sweetened with date paste and tomato paste apple cider vinegar rather than any of the alternatives and very very low calories so like a tablespoon of this 10 calories 0.1 gram of fat two carb as opposed to the generic brand ketchup that is a lot higher caloric wise so you know, these are so great. You can eat more of the sauce and if you like something saucy. Another one of the essentials that I super love are the Neil Brothers salsas. And I add these to just about everything. This one is the Just Hot Enough, but I also love the Mercifully Mild. So yeah, definitely the Neil Brothers and the Good Food for Good line. Love these so much but I'm about to go eat this, devour this, as I'm so, so hungry, and talking has made me even more hungry. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you'd like more. I can do like a weekly cooking in the kitchen or have you guys tuned in like I did the setup here. Whatever you guys think, let me know in the comments below what you think, and yeah, enjoy. Here, taste some yourself. Guys, take a big mouthful before I eat it all. Love you guys.